Hey guys, welcome back. This was the very first video I'm making in 2022. Happy New Year, guys, by the way. And I'm really hoping that you guys had the best New Year's Eve and that you're very excited about the new year. I wish you guys all the best. Thank you for tuning in. And in today's video, I decided to share a couple of things that I bought during 2021 that I just love, like love. Um, there's quite a few pieces. There's some jewelry, there's some uh, perfume, shoes, bags, and skincare and hair care. Um, so um, I love it that you're here. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, just go ahead and subscribe and also follow me on my Instagram. Anyways, let's get started because I have quite a few pieces to show you and I'm going to start with um, a perfume purchase. This is by Delina La Rose. I mean, sorry, this is Delina L or La Rose by uh, Perfumes de Marley. Um, it comes in this beautiful bottle. Um, look at that, it's so pretty. Um, so this is not the regular Delina that I didn't really like. So I went with this one. It has a very like feminine floral to me scent. And normally I go for like the little uh, bottles. I don't go for like the full size, but they didn't have the little ones. So I just got the regular um size bottle of this and i love it um another thing i bought the my son uh kirk de john uh set and i think i believe it has like eight cents and my favorites are definitely um let's see this is the petite martin martin i don't know it has a very crisp fresh smell i love this um, I also love the um, uh, a la rose. This is just a basic, like, rosy perfume. I also like, um, let me see, this one right here. It's called the Aqua Celestia, but this is the Forte version. So I guess it's, but, like, stronger. And, you know, with these perfumes, you only literally need, like, a spritz, like, a drop. And you're just going to smell yourself smell this on yourself all day long i'm telling you um do not go overboard so what else what else and of course there's the um, the baccarat rouge comes in it too so if you want to compare it to the actual big bottle this is how small this is but that, that's what i actually prefer because i get tired of perfumes pretty quickly um so i prefer smaller bottles because then i never know what to do with the leftovers of the big bottle i know i can give it away but anyways um next up is the louis vuitton uh pocket organizer i've talked about this a million times on this channel before i really love how practical this is how small this is it matches um my um how do you call it like my routine my style um it's very convenient it's very small that's what i'm trying to say it's i don't like big wallets um well not anymore i used to but not anymore so i prefer something small and compact like this and yeah i just 100 percent recommend this um next up let's see let's let's talk about bags i think i bought two bags this, well last year um and those are behind me right here so the first up is the uh pochette um, Felici in Damir Ebin. Um, I've only worn it out like a few times, but I really, really love it. If you can get your hands on it, I recommend 100%. It's very um, versatile. You know, you can dress it up, you can take it out on a date, you can take it out for a movie night, what have you you can even have it with like sweats and a t-shirt on i mean it, it's just it's it goes with any outfit and it's really really good i love this one and i got it in this um in this um version because that was the only one available i could have honestly gone with the monogram version as well but yeah but anyways i love this bag and the next bag is my newest addition it's the ysl medium uh, envelope bag and it's like this and look how gorgeous this is this was actually a birthday gift 
for myself from me and I got it in November that's when my birthday is and yeah it's um I'm gonna do like a separate review on this bag but it's I love it look how gorgeous I love gold held hardware um and it's just perfection to me next let's talk about a couple of shoe purchases um let's see. let's start with the sneakers i believe i got them last year yeah these are the veja veja i don't even know how to say it i'm sorry guys i'm not ready for this video at all but i'm gonna link all the things that i can find in the description box obviously um these are the best they are so comfortable i got them in a size um so this they are us 8 which is what i normally wear um but european 39 so and they fit me perfectly i love them they're super comfortable um they're pretty easy too like i've worn them out many many times and they never like got dirty or anything i never like baby them and they're still in like a very good condition so yeah um planning to wear them a lot during 2022 next up that's definitely a purchase that was on my mind before I purchased them, obviously. They were on my mind for the longest time ever. And when you see them, you'll know why. And these are the Oran sandals by Hermes. Um, I got them in 39 and a half um, in this beautiful brown shade. Now, I normally wear a size US 8, which I believe is the equivalent of 38. Um, but after reading a lot of reviews and stuff, oh no, 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 I ordered the 38 and a half, I believe, because I read that you have to go up half a size or something like that. And when they arrived, they were too small. My feet are like on the wider side. So anyways, I went up a whole size up, a size and a half up for my usual size. So this is in 39 and a half. And I've worn them out a few times and they're pretty comfortable. They don't like fall off my feet or anything. So definitely if you're in a store, just go try them out in a store because I don't know. Um, it was definitely a challenge for me to shop for them online and I buy all my things online. So, but anyways, yeah, gorgeous sandals, um, a staple in one's wardrobe. Next up, I have a couple of um, sandals. These are of Stuart Weitzman um, sandals and these are the block heels um yeah these are super comfortable so these um these i got them in nude and these ones i could have gone with my normal size because i ordered eight and eight and a half and um i have like this much room where my toes are so i could have gotten away with my regular size eight on these but i couldn't bother returning them or like swapping them for my usual size so i just kept them but anyways um, highly recommend this sandal too and then for my last last pair of sandals i have the valentino rockstad sandals as well and they're also the block heel and i can't even describe the color because it looks like a taupey color to me it's definitely not beige beige <laughs> um but yeah i don't know but they're super pretty and i'm happy i got them because they go with everything as well and yeah so that's it for the shoes i'm just looking what else am i missing anything okay let's go with the jewelry um so last year i love jewelry in general i'm a big fan i love wearing jewelry um on a daily basis my staples are definitely um bracelets rings and necklaces even though i only have the one necklace it's that my sister got me quite a few years ago for my birthday um and i wore it like every single day i also wear um earrings every single day but i don't think i bought any earrings last year or they were not that like memorable <laughs> um but another thing that i got myself this year i think i got it um in november or december i can't remember probably december but i wear it non-stop every single day and it's this bracelet um it's a diamond bracelet in 14 karat gold so that's what i prefer usually and it's just a beautiful bracelet that lays flat like that on your wrist and it's adjustable so i got it from rain concierge this was my very first purchase with them and um, 
The only thing when you shop on their website, I noticed that you can't, you can like send items to resize or I guess exchange, but you can't do like any returns. So when I was ordering this, I was definitely like cautious and uh, yeah, but anyways, I never want to return this obviously, not exchange it either. I love it so much. It's always on my left wrist because I can easily put it on with my right hand. Um, another bracelet that I got, I, I don't know if this was this year or not, but this is the Saatchi jewelry bracelet as well. Um, I don't know if you can see. It's got the one side diamond, one side just the gold. Anyway, so you get the idea. I like like dainty pieces. And these two bracelets that I got last year, um, I wear them every single day. Um, next up, let's talk about um, skincare. I discovered this brand called um, Image Skincare. And I just love their line so much. Um, it works well with my skin. My skin is very sensitive. It's on the oilier side. It's, um, it's um, how do I describe it? It gets dry sometimes. I feel like it needs, even though it's oily, it needs all the moisture it can get. Um, so I love their night cream. This one right here, it's called the Hydrating Repair Cream with Vitamin C. So I bought this as a separate cream and Oh gosh, it just smells so good. It smells like oranges. It smells really, really good. And it's very hydrating for my skin. I love it at night. And then for the um, uh, moisture, no, I'm sorry, not the moisturizer. For the cleanser, I use the Armetic, Armetic Balancing Facial Cleanser. This is my second bottle. This is not the full size, but I get the set. So it comes um, with like three items in it. So it comes with the... This is a 32 SPF daily matte moisturizer, and this is the best daily moisturizer. It smells amazing. I love this one. It also comes with the Vital C Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum. This is also from the same line as this one. I love the serum too. I use it usually once at night before I put on my moisturizer. Um, and then I also love, 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 love the balancing facial cleanser. I don't know what it has in it. It's like a clear gelish formula, but it just leaves my skin super clean. Like when I ran out of the first one, um, I was without it for quite, quite a few days because I placed a new order and I had to wait for it to arrive. And in the meantime, I was using my old cleanser and I immediately saw like a difference in my skin. Like it's just not the same. So I love using this one. I'm very happy I got into this brand. And another thing I loved for my hair, this one's empty, like empty. <laughs> um, this is the shoe. Gum, caring deeply for your hair, one strand at a time, live in a conditioner with yogurt proteins, milk and plants, um, milk and plant sugars, vitamins A, C, and E plus antioxidants. I don't know. This smells amazing. Um, in the summertime, I think when I got my hair cut, as a hairstylist used this one and I was like, what is this? This smells so good. So first of all, the smell of it drew me in. And then when she showed it to me, I had to purchase it immediately. And they say you can use it on either damp hair or dry hair, but I prefer using it on uh, damp hair after I wash my hair. I spray this all over. I let it sink in for just a little bit for a few minutes. And then I brush my hair when it's just a bit like on the drier side because I ate dry air dry my hair um so when i brush it and then the next day is just so silky smooth and it's beautiful anyways i love this one and another thing that i discovered last year was i actually went to sephora today and i got this is like my fourth bottle if i'm not mistaken or jar if you will this is the pharmacy um Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This just melts your makeup, like even your waterproof mascara. It's gonna melt it all. I love it. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Before this, I think I was using the Philosophy um, Makeup Remover, the yellow bottle, if you know what I'm, what I'm talking about. And no, this, I will never go back to anything else. This is like the best thing. 
um, to remove your makeup. It's called, again, Pharmacy Green Clean. And it's a pretty generous jar too, like, so I think I went to like, this is the either the third or the fourth bottle, but I love it. It's like $34. It's the best thing for your skin. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. I'm like looking around. I think I went through all the things. Um, anyways, please do let me know what things that, what things you bought last year and that you enjoyed and you're still enjoying. Um, and uh, yeah, in the new year in 2022, I wish you guys a lot of health, prosperity, um, wealth, happiness, I wish for your family and friends to be safe, to be healthy, happy, um, and uh, for all your dreams to come true. Uh, I'm sorry, I feel like I'm a little bit uh, um, slow today, but that's because I've been having this horrible toothache. I've had it for a week now, and I'm just dreading the idea of going to a dentist. I know I have to sooner or later, but I'm just secretly hoping the pain will go away i don't know but i took some painkillers i usually don't take any kind of medication i don't like it i took some painkillers earlier advil and i feel a lot better so that's when i was like you know what let me film a video today um but anyways i am glad you guys tuned in please give it a like if uh, you like this video obviously i'm gonna link all the products in the description box below and yeah, I would love for you guys to subscribe to this channel. Um, I'm planning to make a lot of content uh, during 2022. So yeah, stay tuned. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.